MJF leaning toward leaving AEW when his contract is up. Former WWE NXT wrestler Dakota Kai files trademark for King Kota. AEW talent to appear on Carpool Karaoke the series. And NBC renews Young Rock for season three. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome to the latest. We got a couple of news bits to get into here today. We're going to kick things off with the latest report from Fightful Select that suggests that MJF and AEW aren't exactly seeing eye to eye as of right now. Let's get into the story. According to a Fightful report Thursday afternoon, there are still some hard feelings between MJF and AEW that may be leading the young star to look elsewhere in less than two years. In the report, they said he is leaning toward leaving AEW as of now when his deal is up. The same website reported that during a heated April discussion with AEW head Tony Khan, MJF wasn't happy about his contract situation and the pay scale as of that conversation, and we're told the situation left him soured on many things. The impetus for the talk was a March interview MJF did with Ariel Hawani that wasn't cleared through AEW PR. Dave Meltzer reported during that time that there was a conversation between both sides and any issues were cleared. It should be noted that MJF still has nearly two years left on a five-year deal, which he signed back in 2019. That leaves times for feelings to change, the industry to change, and negotiations on a new deal. The financials of which may be different in two years depending on the next AEW TV contract and the situation at that time. Fightful reported that there has been at least some progress on a potential extension with AEW. It also should be noted that MJF hasn't been shy about going public regarding his potential 2024 free agency in promos, including on this week's Dynamite and interviews, making it part of his AEW storyline without it being the central focus. He has generated headlines about both wanting to be the highest paid star in wrestling and alluding to a possible future with WWE with his mutual respect for both WWE's Bruce Pritchard and free agent signee Cody Rhodes. In December, Andrew Zarian reported that both Fox and NBC Universal became interested in MJF during his promos during the CM Punk angle. At the end of the day, we still got two years left with MJF in AEW. So what are your thoughts in regards to this story? Do you think it's still too soon to maybe be talking about his contract coming up in 2024? What are your thoughts? Go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. But now let's go ahead and jump into some other quick news bits. The former Dakota Kai has filed a trademark for what would be her new in-ring name. On May 9th, Dakota Kai applied for a trademark King Coda. Kai also recently changed her Instagram handle to I'm King Coda. Kai was released by WWE during a set of NXT roster cuts on April 29th. Several AEW wrestlers are set to appear in the next season of Carpool Karaoke the series. AEW's Britt Baker, Christian Cage, Brian Danielson, MJF, Powerhouse Hobbs, CM Punk, and Ruby Soho will be featured on a grouping for a season 5 episode of Carpool Karaoke the series. The season premieres on Apple TV Plus on Friday, May 27th. Carpool Karaoke The Series is a spin-off of the Carpool Karaoke segment from The Late Late Show with James Corden. And last but not least for all of you Young Rock fans, turns out there's going to be a third season. Young Rock will be continuing on NBC for at least another season. NBC announced on Thursday that it has renewed Young Rock for a third season. The sitcom, which is inspired by Dwayne The Rock Johnson's life story, tells how Johnson was shaped by his experiences growing up. Alrighty, everyone, that's your quick news roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, do not forget to give this video a like. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel. And I invite you all to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, live three times a week here on F4W Online, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.